When you're dealing with scientific notation on a graphing calculator, you might notice the letter E popping up quite frequently. Let me explain this. So if I enter in 2 times 10 to the 4th power, so I use the exponent button and press a 4, this is in scientific notation, right? A number times a power of 10. If I hit enter, the graphing calculator gives me the result, the answer, you know, 20,000, right? But what if I had something larger, like 2 times 10 to the 41st? This is not going to fit right here. If I press enter, the calculator gives me this result, 2e41, which tells you what? Well, it tells you that this is a shorthand right here, 2e41, for this. So on a graphing calculator, this e represents 2 times 10 to the 41st power. So what e represents, again, it means the number before it is your coefficient, the number 2. e means times 10, and the number after e is the exponent, just like it is here. So you can enter numbers this way in a graphing calculator. I could have entered 2, and every graphing calculator and scientific calculator has the ee -E command. Here it's it's written in small blue letters above the comma. So I hit second and the comma, and that E pops up. So whatever number I enter now, I'm entering in the exponent on the 10. So if I enter a 6, right, this means 2 times 10 to the 6. I hit enter, and there's the result, right? 2 million. So that's a shortcut to use on a graphing calculator. The same thing applies for negative exponents. I can enter in 2 E negative sign 6, this means 2 times 10 to the negative 6, and hit enter, right? Although it's not displaying right there because it, I'm not sure why, but <laughs> that's something we'll come back to in other videos. But you can set it so it's a positive or a negative exponent. Alright, hope this helped.